Twas the night before Christmas, when all down the street, not a person was stirring, not even this neat. Body pillows stacked in the corner with care, comfort in knowing that their waifu was there. All wrapped up and nestled and snug in their bed, while visions of opi all bounced through their head. And parents slept upstairs while they, down below, had just finished part two of their seven-part show. When out in the yard there arose such a clatter, as the windows did shake and walls nearly shatter, they jumped and snatched the replica Bankai, knew they had anime and God on their side. With light of the moon on their now beating heart, they reached up and pulled the curtains apart, when what to their wandering eyes should appear? Not but darkness outside, it seemed twas all clear. With a breath and a sigh, and filled with relief, they glanced at their figures, now safe from some thief. How silly, they thought, writing Mikasa. A thief here, in my bedroom? You silly dumb baka. Now Hollow, now Taiga, now Winry and Sue, and Levi and Haru and Speedwagon too. Into my bed, to my dreams, no more of this fright. Help me to sleep, good dreams the rest of this night. And with a flick of the screen, the last light went out. They were certain, most wrongfully, no troubles about. All the more frightening when chaos bestowed, a flurry of rubble when the walls did explode. They coughed and they wheezed, the floor was splattered, with Gundam and waifu limbs all scattered. As they lifted their head and looked on past the mess, they saw the girl responsible for all this new stress. She was dressed all in fur, with her red hat all knit, and did not even care as they screamed. In her hand she had held a tight grip on her sack, and she returned their sheer horror with a smile right back. Her eyes, they were soulless, a blank sheet of pure green. She stood there before them, the true Christmas queen. Her toothless large mouth filled with mischief delight, as her blonde hair had glistened in the pale moonlight. Have no fear, she said, warming quite politely. Saber is here, and she smiled quite brightly. She threw down her sack and looked in their eyes. What would you like for a Christmas surprise? They struggled and coughed. How on earth could they know? If this creature was safe, that just blew in from the snow. Do you mean it? They asked. Do you mean what you said? And the strange jolly woman just nodded her head. They pondered a moment, then knew what to try, and said, I could use sauce for some sweet hint. She sprang to her feet through the hole in the wall, and away began twirling like she was Belle of the Ball. As she left, she exclaimed, to me and to you, Happy Christmas to all, and Padoru Padoru.